Hello friends, in the last session we have seen uh, our first micro frontend products app from the host app. In this session we are going to load all the micro frontends in host app. So let's continue. Agenda for today's session is configure bootstrap CSS correctly, configure webpack for cards app, configure webpack for orders app and display all the micro apps from the host app. Just switch to our code window. So in the last session, if you remember, we have added, if I go to the products app and if I go to the style.css, uh, if you remember, we have added this bootstrap min.css to the styles and we have loaded the CSS, but that was not the correct way to load the CSS. So how can we load? So if you can see here, I've commented out this and if you can go to the root angular.json and if you can scroll up in the projects, if you can see for host app, I have added this style here for bootstrap and I have added this script in the script stack. The same thing what I have done for products app. In the products app, if you can see, I have added the styles in the styles and the script in the scripts section. So now both the apps are running. If you can see, this is the, our host app and this is our in 3000, our uh, products app. So if I go here, if you can see on products, it's products. And if you can see on the host app and under the products, the products are getting loaded and the home, this comes to the uh, home screen of the app component. So the styles are getting loaded successfully. So this is the correct way you have to make changes to your uh, apps. Basically in the project section, you will be able to see all your apps. Okay. So I can, uh, I have just shown you host app, products app, cards app and orders app. This way your uh, CSS issue will get resolved. Now let's go ahead and we'll configure cards app as a micro frontend and we'll make the uh, webpack configuration and all related changes. So first we'll uh, go to the terminal. I have uh, added one more terminal here. We'll go into our workspace and we'll create one module. If you can see in the uh, cards app there is no model okay so we'll create one cards model ng gm cards i pin i pin route cards register this model with app dot module for which project we are doing this is for cards app let it get executed so if you can see here it has added the cards module it has added the CSS, HTML, spec and component.ts and it has its own module. So if you can go to cards module, it has a path for the cards component. If you can go to uh, our, you know, cards module.ts, it is exported and it's been registered here under the uh, routes. If you can see here on the routes, it has added the cards and the cards module. Okay. And uh, these routes are getting registered in app module. So, uh, app routing model. Now we don't need this CSS, so we'll delete it. And again, we don't need this spec.ts, we'll delete it. And in uh, component.ts, we don't need this. Uh, now we have done with the changes uh, basically, but we'll add some styling. So for uh, to do that, first step to configure the bootstrap. So again, we'll go to the angular.json, we'll pull the uh, style sheet first so i'll take this style sheet then i'll go to the cards app and i'll add the style here then i will pull the script and i'll add the script to the script section so scripts now the bootstrap is configured for cards app as well so what I'll do from the products app, I'll just take this portion, okay? And uh, here probably I'll add just product one or the products. And I'll take this se section, I'll go to this HTML and I'll put it here and I'll make this as cards. Clear this and we'll start this app. ng s cards app. And it's running on 4000. So I'll go here, okay, localhost 4000, see here, cards app is running and if I go to cards, see here, 
its cards is getting loaded so we have successfully made the changes now we'll configure the webpack so for that you know we are not going to write the code and again and again so what i'll do i'll just delete this webpack configuration file from here and i'll go to the products app i'll just copy this webpack file okay and i'll paste that into the cards uh, app basically so if i go to the cards app if i paste it here and this is in inside the cards app if you can see on the project cards app webpack config so what i'll do i'll just place all the products with cards so control h these are the products and replace with cards that's it so what we'll do it will be cards cards app cards model dot ts and now we'll run our project one more time as we have done with all the changes it's running we'll again check the cards and it's running what i'll do i'll just configure this application inside our host application so again i'll go back to our host app and if you can see here it has just products so i'll just copy it and here it should be cards okay and it's running on 4000 that's what we have seen right and if you can go to src app app routing model you can see here so what i'll do i will make a copy of this here it should be cards cards and it should be card now again here you will be able to see this error right so in the last session i have already told you how to remove that so we'll go to type.t.ts uh, file and we'll declare one more model here and that is cards model so if you can go to our app routing now that error goes away and again i'll go to here after the products i'll add cards and it should go to cards let me reload our host application one more time it seems our host application is running so i'll go to our host app see here its cards is already added and if i click on cards see here its cards is getting loaded products products cards cards so we are successfully able to render two micro front ends under our host application let's configure the third app okay cd on bazaar so we'll move into our workspace and we'll generate one model first for orders app nggm orders route orders register this module with app dot module for which project we are making this model this is for orders app let this model get created now we'll open the orders app src app you can see here it's added orders again we'll we don't need this file so we'll delete we don't need spec we'll delete html let it be as is we don't need css so delete it and we are good here let's configure the bootstrap first the steps are almost same so if i go to our angular.json file i'll just copy this css first from cards to orders styles i'll paste it here if i go to our products app and i'll take the scripts and we'll add it to projects script section so we have co configured our bootstrap successfully from the products app we'll copy the uh, card component and we'll just paste that card component in, in orders app html file and 
I'll make this as orders. Simultaneously, what I'll do, I'll make changes for webpack.config.js. So from the products app, I'll just copy this webpack. I'll go to orders app. So orders app, webpack, I'll just delete it. Then again, I'll go to orders app and I'll just paste it. Orders app, webpack config. I'll just replace this with orders now and replace all we and done if you can see the models path is again projects orders app app orders is our uh, folder for the model and we are just pulling the orders model here now let's run this app okay so i'll just clear ng s orders orders app is running successfully and that is 2 on 80 81 so let me open local host 8081 so orders app is running if i go slash orders see here primary card for orders is working successfully now we'll again go to the, our host app and we'll configure our orders app so i go to host app webpack and i'll make one entry for orders app and that is to running on which port 80 81 okay we have done with our webpack configuration and and we'll move on to our app routing model changes so again we'll copy one and we'll make the orders orders and orders model again we'll declare this model so that this error will not be displayed under the app routing model so we'll go to types.d.ts file and here we'll declare this d e declare model now if i go to a routing model and the error goes away then i'll go to our html file and we'll add here the orders orders we'll move this home to first location so let me start our host application one more time our host app is running i'll go here now you will be able to see home product cards and orders if i click on home it's host app if i go to products the products are getting loaded from the products app our second cards we are successfully able to render our cards micro front end and if i go to the orders if you can see the orders app is getting loaded successfully now as we have successfully loaded all the apps into host app okay uh, these are the commands which uh, we have used for creating models for cards and orders app okay in the next session we'll first add one layout to our host app so that you know these buttons we can remove and we have some uh, good header in place okay thank you